At Nyabugogo Taxi Park, a known busy location when it comes to connecting the city Kigali to other parts of the country. Today morning, it started an unusual day with not a single vehicle parked in the park. This not only was the case in Nyabugogo but also in other taxi parks around the city Kigali. Some passengers woke up coming to the park unknowingly that traffic between the city of Kigali and other provinces of the country was suspended. Those with private cars used this as an opportunity and took up the job, transporting passengers to or from the provinces, charging them a higher fee compared to their usual one with the public means. Scammers also took advantage of the situation, stealing some people's money, promising to find their means to their destinations. I was traveling to Nyamasheche. Reaching here, I found all those closed telling me that provincial travels were suspended. They park there at the petrol station. They come fetch you lying that there is a vehicle ready to transport you and you end up being scammed. It was 4,000 rand and francs to Karonji. But now they say the last price is 8,000 to 9,000 rand and francs. In Nyanza Taxi Park in Kichuchiro District, some of the public transport vehicles from Bujesara District continue to operate as usual. I came hoping that I will find no vehicles, but I finally came to find them with nothing changed with the prices. It's 750 random francs as usual. With Kabuga Taxi Park, in Gasabo District, vehicles were not allowed to reach Nyagasambu or Ujende in the area separating Kigali City and Ramagana District. Residents of the area asked how the vehicles weren't allowed to get in their area, yet it is also part of Kigali City. How comes that vehicles are stopping in Kabuga, yet there are still areas of Kabuga Nyagasambu, which are also part of Kigali? The Minister of Local Government, Professor Shaka Anastas, warned those with private vehicles doing opposite of what is required of them that it is against the rules and punishments will await all those caught in the act. That kind of person should be punished heavily and it won't be long for us to catch them. Since we have the information, we are going to collaborate with the police. That would be creating a gap for them to betray the country and its people. So those who attempt to go by the set rules will face serious consequences. On the issue to do with those in the outskirts of Kigali, Patrick Nirishema, the Director General of Rwanda Utilities Regulatory Authority, Rura, says that vehicles are allowed to transport them since most of them work in the city, Kigali. Those living in the outskirts of Kigali will be allowed into the city since most of them have to go to work. That is to say Nyamata, Rienzi, and Muyumbu. So in simple terms, it is as we did before. During a cabinet meeting on Wednesday, it was also decided that a countrywide 7 p.m. to 5 p.m. curfew should be enforced starting Thursday. Innocent Mugabo, RTV News.